I am popping up today because I wanted to do a three card reading for you. I know we were up live in the lab last night doing some psychic sleuthing. By the way, I really enjoyed that even though the subject matter was a bit macabre and it was kind of depressing when all of the results came out. It was really fascinating though seeing last night in our live just how many of you actually got some really substantial hits. Now I'm gonna be up again tomorrow night in the Lightworkers Lab. I'm gonna be subbing in for Justine Uselding. She usually has Space Jam at 6 p.m. my time. And so tomorrow at 6 p.m. my time, which is central time, I'm gonna be getting up and I am going to be subbing in for her. And what we're gonna be doing tomorrow is some remote viewing. I'm gonna have a few pictures, maybe four or five pictures, but this time, as opposed to last night, you guys are not gonna see these pictures. Rather, I'm gonna have them in an envelope and I'm going to hold them up for you and we will work on each envelope, trying to pick up the contents within the envelope and, and what the picture might look like. So that's tomorrow night. And so if you're interested in practicing your psychic skills, well, this is the month to do it in the Lightworkers Lab for sure, because we are teaching a lot of foundational classes and we're gonna have a lot of different types of exercises, techniques, and games to help you strengthen. Check out the gun show. I'm sorry, I've been working out. <laughs> I'm 50, year old, I'm 50 years old, woo, check out the gun show. Anyway, to strengthen those psychic muscles, I swear to God, I didn't do that on purpose. I didn't wear a tank top to do that on purpose. But um, anyway, what I wanted to do today is do a three card oracle reading with you. I did this last week on YouTube, and by the way, I'm gonna be sharing this with YouTube. Um, and last week, everybody really loved it, and I love doing these types of games as well. Now last year, if you recall, I actually used this, excuse me, not last year, last week, I used this deck, which is Sacred Symbols for Divination and Meditation, which I really love and I use quite often. But today what we're gonna be using is the deck, the tarot deck that I actually learned upon many, many, many moons ago. In fact, it has the descriptions of what each card means <laughs> um, right there on the cards. So when I was practicing, I'd be able to flip them over, read them, and really get acquainted to what, the, to what the meanings were. And it really helped me to learn very quickly how to use this particular deck and tarot in specific. But of course, oracle cards and decks are gateways. They are tools that we can use that will help us to tap into our higher understanding and our intuition. And soon you'll find if you use oracle cards that you, will, you won't really need to use them anymore. They're really just like a portal that allows you to access higher information. But I love these cards. I've had them for many, many years, like decades, a long time. And I've selected, I went through them, I shuffled them up and I selected three different cards. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these cards up for you. I'm gonna show them in the camera. And what I want you to do on your end is try to hook into the energy of each card. And I want you to pick whichever card resonates the most with you. Is it card number one? Is it card number two? Is it card number three? Which card is it? Like, Look for something like a magnetic tug that makes you feel connected to a certain card. Or look for something like a clairvoyant image, which is just an image that happens in your mind's eye. Maybe you see the number one or you... I don't know, you see a symbol for one. Maybe you see the number two, the number three. Maybe you see the words spelled out. You can also listen for your inner voice to give you a clue as to which card you resonate with today. You might even hear the word two or three, whatever it is, however it is to, that it comes through for you. Just make sure that you're listening and that you follow, you follow what the energy is telling you, remembering not to doubt yourself. And usually it's the first answer that you get, one, two, or three, that is the one that is the most accurate. So as I pull these up again, I want you to really try and hook into the energy of these cards and see which one you feel the most connected with because that is the card which is gonna contain for you a specific message. Before I reveal it, I'm gonna actually ask you guys to put in the comment section what number you feel most magnetically drawn to. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can answer afterwards or you can answer as you're watching, it's up to you. But let me know what you're actually feeling before you get the message so that you can trust yourself and trust your instincts. Are you ready for our Wednesday Oracle card reading? If so, let's proceed. Okay, sorry. 
All right, first card, card number one. Card number one. Is there anything about this card that might be tugging to you or speaking to you? What kind of energy do you feel with this card? All right, we are now going to card number two. Card number two, how do you feel about that card? Anything coming up for you? Make sure you're checking all of your psychic receivers, which is your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your clairsentience, which is the feeling in your body, and also claircognizance. Now let's look at card number three. All these cards contain a very specific message, and if you feel something, if you feel a pull, if you feel a, a sensation, a quickening, that's an indication that this Oracle card has a message for you. I'm going to run through them again just really, really quickly so you can get another sense of it, and then we will ask for you to reveal in the comments, and I'll be watching, which one resonates with you the most. Card number one. Card number one. Card number two. Card number two. And last but never least, card number three. Card number three. How do you feel about this card? All right. Now what I want you to do, if you're here live with me on Facebook, I want you to go ahead and answer now in the comments and let me know which card resonated with you the most. Again, checking all of your psychic receivers. Clairsentience is the ability to feel in the world of spirit. And we feel this typically in our physical body. And claircognizance is just a knowing. You just automatically know, oh, card number three, that's for me. That's clear cognizance. And clear audience again is hearing something. You can either hear it externally or internally, and clairvoyance is seeing it. Images. All right, number two, one, three, two, two. And YouTube, you can do the very same thing. You can leave this in the comments or you can wait until after. I really do want to know though which card resonated with you the most. Three, number two, two, three, two. Awesome. Linda says, three feels neutral, two feels like pushing away, and one feels like it's pulling toward me. Which is interesting, Linda, because, of course, when you do a reading with multiple cards, each card informs the next card. And some people, during an exercise like this, might feel a resonance or might feel a connection with more than one card. And so the question there is, well, which one has a stronger pull with you? Or which one are you attracted to more? And then which one is a secondary, a secondary or a complementary card that might inform the first card that you initially chose or vice versa? All right, number two, three, two, two, two. Awesome, okay, now for the reveal, the fun part. You know, I don't like, sometimes you see online people will do oracle card readings and they'll ask you to pick a card and then they'll wait an entire day to give you the reveal. Like, I'm no, I want the reveal right now. So. Card number one, for those of you who picked number one, is the card judgment. Judgment. I'm going to read to you right off of the card what this card means. Arguments, legal and contractual issues, are resolved in your favor. If you've wronged someone, it's time to seek reconciliation and forgiveness. Forgive those who've hurt you and move on with your life. This card can also be telling you that it might be time to find a new career. And if you've been in a low period of your life, this card signifies a turnaround. Things are about to get better. That's card number one. Oops. Card number one, which is judgment. And you know when a card flies out at you, you always got to pick it up and look and see what it says. That's one way spirit gets our attention with cards. All right, ready for card number two? I saw a lot of you picked card number two. 
This card is like my favorite card in the whole deck. <laughs> this card is the Nine of Cups. Good for you, those who picked number two, the Nine of Cups. Look at that jolly fellow. Just loving his life all in his robes, sitting on his nice chair. He's got nine cups right above his head. What does this card mean? Well, I'm about to tell you. This is the wish card, and it indicates that your deepest desire is granted. A problem you might be having is going to be solved or is already solved. Satisfying sexual relationships may be indicated by this card as well, as well as emotional peace. Your goals are going to be achieved or you are in the process of achieving them and your dreams come true. This is truly the dream come true card. So what are you dreaming about, those of you who selected number two? Make sure you take time to enjoy your success and revel in its rewards. Material possessions are attained when you pick this card. This means you've got some rewards, some harvest coming your way, and also physical fitness and beauty. Please hold. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a goofy mood today. <laughs> physical fitness and beauty is also represented in this card, even though he's kind of he's kind of tubby. That's okay. He's happy. That's card number two. Now let's move on to the final card for those of you who picked number three, because I saw there were a lot of you out there. Number three is the Hermit. The Hermit. Those of you familiar, of course, with Tarot and the Major Arcana, you already know what the Hermit means, but let me read this for you. This card, the Hermit, represents the search for answers to life's problems. This card tells you to withdraw a little bit in order to find the answers to your most pressing questions. Peace and quiet are needed in your life at this time. Also, this card tells us to make decisions or choices wisely. Take advice from others. Seek wise counsel. This card predicts a meeting with someone who will defend, inspire, or protect you. Also, this card can mean that there's a possible vacation or a sabbatical. Yes. Let's start praise dancing. Who needs a vacation? I need a vacation. And last but not least, this card tells you follow your heart. Don't follow the crowd. Go inward and listen to that inward guidance, but also don't be afraid to turn to those people who've got your back and who will give you good advice when you need it. So very quickly, card number one, we have judgment arguments resolved in your favor fair results possibly find a new career and if you've had some bad experiences that's about to turn around for you card number two the jolly old nine of cups wish card dream card it's about to all happen it's happening right now and card number three the hermit go inside seek inner counsel and outer counsel follow your heart and not the crowd. There you have it, your three cards for Wednesday. Now I'm going to get into these comments and see what you guys are saying. Rita, yes, I need peace and quiet. That's why I'm coming to the retreat. Amen. Amen. Don't you forget about that retreat, people. The lightworkerslab.com slash retreat. We are having a four-night, five-day retreat at the end of August for members of the Lightworkers Lab or followers of the Crystal Ann Compton. And it's really awesome. We have a lot of people already slated to go Spots are limited, so if you guys want to go, sign up now. Yenazel says, hi, Crystal, just logged on. First time I caught you live. Really? We just did a three-card oracle pull, so if, or three oracle card pull. So if you want to, go back to the beginning and go through the exercise. And for anybody on YouTube, thank you for joining us. This was conducted live in the Lightworkers Lab, which is my spiritual community, which I founded a couple of years ago. We have a lot of stuff going on in the lab and you are welcome to join us. And anybody who hasn't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, I wanna ask please that you would subscribe and also like and share my videos. It's gonna help me for a project that I've got coming up this year. So the more subscribers I have, the better. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really, really appreciate that you do. And on that note, I will leave you with your divine messages for today. And I will see you tomorrow night in the Lightworkers Lab, subbing in for Justine Uselding. We're not doing Space Jam. We are doing remote viewing.